Hello, Taman Taman. Namasaya, Jason Song. Today I'm here in South Philly at a restaurant called Indonesian Restaurant by Mama's Kitchen. You're originally from Indonesia? Yes, I was from Surabaya, East Java. And when did you come to the United States? I came here in 2005 after I finished my college. How would you describe your food here at Mama's Kitchen? The food here more like a uh, Japanese style, Surabaya style cuisine. It's more like uh, spicy, salt, and sour and blend of a little bit of everything. All right guys, check out this bakso bakar. It's a bunch of beef meatballs and it's grilled. It has some scallions and fried onions on top and it comes with this piece of lime and a little thing of sambal. I think this is just the regular sambal. All right, here we go. Mmm, mmm. Guys, I love this bakso. It has that smokiness. This is the perfect street food, guys. If you're out in the city, I could just imagine how it's like where you have like street food stalls and people are just picking these up as people are having fun. The ketchup manise works perfectly. It's not super sweet, it's not super salty, but it mixes in perfectly with that bakso. I love how it's mixing. Check it out. I'm gonna put some lime. Wow, that lime just gives it that freshness. Okay, check it out. I have here some of that sambal. This is just regular sambal, guys. Right? Let's put a little lime in there. All right, here we go. Super spicy sambal. Guys, I have some rice here too. Let's mix some bakso and some rice. All right, here we go. Mm. Wow. Guys, the rice and the bakso, perfect. If you have rice, you gotta mix it in. I mean the bakso by itself, perfect street snack. But if you have rice, I think you could have it with the main dish or as a side item. All right, guys, here we go. We have here the nasi rawan. Is it rawan? Rawan, rawan. Nasi rawan. Check out the soup first. You guys know we have to have the soup first. Mmm. Oh, it has this deep kind of beefy flavor to it. Kind of nutty, almost, but I could taste a lot of ginger. It's on the little salty side too, but you could taste the beef. That's all you taste really. It, it leaves a little bit of an aftertaste. It has like garlic, some onion kind of taste to it. Guys, I love this already. Came in and I'm a little chilly. This soup is just warming me right up. Just from that one little spoonful, guys. Oh yeah. Guys, this is one of those soups where it just sticks to your ribs. Goodness, you just feel all warm inside. All right, next, let's try out the beef. You could tell just by looking at it, it's super tender. Mm. <laughs> Mike, how long do you guys cook that? It, it's gotta be like a couple hours or something, right? Six hours? No way. Wow, so good. It has a salty, garlicky. Oh, amazing. This is what we're gonna do, guys. Let's get some rice and some uh, soup. I know some of you guys like to put the rice in the stew, but let me know, which team are you guys? I like it non-mixed. So here we go. Just gonna dip it like that, guys. Let me know, do you guys do this too? Mm. Mm. You gotta mix it with the rice. By itself, it's a, a little too savory. But with the rice, it cuts that savoriness. It's just so balanced when you mix it. Guys, I just found out that the beef, they cook it for eight hours. It's not even since it's eight hours. No wonder it just fell apart in your mouth. Oh, amazing. All right, guys, it comes with this kropok puti. This is the first time I had it like this. It's, it looks like a funnel cake. I have here the bean sprout. Let's put in the bean sprout here. Check it out, guys. Let's get some of that beef and some of that sambal. Mm. Mm. Perfect. 
guys, the rice, it just saves the day. When you have the intense flavors from the beef and the super spiciness, the sambal, if it's too much, just get a little rice. Just balance it out. Guys, check it out. This is a salted duck egg, guys. I've never had one of these. How, how do you eat this? You just go like this, you eat it. This is what I'm gonna do. Let me know if I'm doing this right. I'm gonna get some of uh, this. All right, guys, check it out. Mmm. Oh, wow. That's super salty, guys. Wow. I think you're supposed to mix it. You're not supposed to eat it like that. Let's try it again. I'm gonna get some of that rice with some of that telora seen. And then I'm gonna dip it in the soup, guys. Just like that. Mmm. Oh. Oh. So that's how you eat it. I could tell now. So you mix everything together, guys. Right? It just works together. So you have that duck, it's super salty. You can't eat that by yourself. So if you mix it with the beef and the egg and the rice, wow. This time I'm gonna use some lime in the broth. I don't wanna mix the entire thing yet. Let me just try it with a little bit. Here we go. So I have this soup, got some of that. Lime. Ooh. I like this lime. It cuts that savoriness of that uh, beef broth. The beef broth is salty as well, but the lime it just balances it out. So, Mike, how do you how do you usually have it? You you put this, you put the sambal inside here too, and the lime. So, guys, I'm gonna put the sambal and the lime in here, just Mike style. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys do that too? Let me know. All right, guys, I mix everything together. Let's see how the broth tastes. Mmm, guys, the lime, the sambal, and the beef savoriness all mixed together. Love this. I actually prefer this. Mixing everything together. Wow, everything works. Do you guys mix everything or do you eat it separately? Which one's the right way? Or I guess it's more of a preference thing. Mmm, so good. Check it out, guys. This is the black rice. Oh, it smells kind of sweet too. Mm. Wow, this is so good. It has that creamy, slightly sweet, warm rice tasting from it. It has this coconut flavor too, a nice, pleasant coconut flavor. This time, guys, I mixed it. Mmm, mmm, guys, I love it. I guess some people mix it, but some people don't. I could see how both is uh, delicious. Let me know, what do you guys do? I love how it's not super sweet, because I don't really like too sweet foods, guys. But this one it has a decent amount of sweet from that palm sugar and that coconut milk. It's just perfect with the rice, guys. All right, guys, check it out. This is the kopi susu, the Indonesian style coffee. It's unfiltered coffee. You could see the little grains of coffee in there. But if they add susu, which is condensed milk. I love that. All right, here we go. My first Indonesian coffee. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah. This is a perfect amount of black coffee flavor. You know, the bitterness you get from it. Personally, I'm a black coffee drinker, but I wanted to try the coffee susu. This has a nice sweetness to it. It's not overpowering. A little bit of condensed milk. It gives it that thickness, that richness. Love this. You know what? There's still some pieces of that Burber Ketan Erang in my mouth. And I'm mixing it with the coffee, and it's kind of working. I kind of like that. It's, it's kind of weird, but uh, let me try it together. <laughs> Let me ask you guys, is this Berber Ketan Erang part of uh, dessert only? I feel like this is good enough for breakfast. Do you guys have breakfast with this? Because in America, we have oatmeal and it's just like this. Uh, I don't know if you guys have oatmeal, but it has the same consistency. It's warm and it fills you right up in the morning. And usually people have a bowl of hot oatmeal with a nice cup of black coffee. So good. So I wonder, do you guys do this? Kopi susu and their bubur ketan erang. Do you have it together for breakfast? Let me know in the comments. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Yo, guys, that works. I don't care what anyone says, that works. Guys, did I just have an Indonesian breakfast? Let me know. Guys, overall, everything I had today here at Indonesian restaurant by Mama's Kitchen was excellent. The tahu pitis, awesome. It has this soft, crunchy, almost thin, crunchy layer outside. Inside was super creamy. And I love that petit sauce. It was something new for me. Maybe I'll get used to it over time, but it's still kind of strong. The tempeh mendoan, hands down my favorite appetizer or snack so far. My favorite Indonesian snack. And I had it here at Indonesian restaurant. In the nasi bebek, wow. The duck, the skin, that was the best part for me. I love the skin. It's super fatty, super crispy, but the inside, it just fell off the bone. And when you add the galangal with the rice, that's just a game over, guys. Because if you're in the South Philly area, definitely come by to Indonesian restaurant by Mama's Kitchen. If you guys like this episode, make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Peace. Halo teman-teman, kalau kalian lagi berada di South Philadelphia, silakan mampir ke restoran kami yang namanya Indonesia Restaurant di 1725 Snyder Avenue, Philadelphia. Terima kasih.